Welcome back to a beautiful evening at the Stade Saputo, and here they come, Le Bleu and Le Rouge, Daviano and Torsten Frings, leading out their respective teams for the second MLS meeting between the Montreal Impact and Toronto FC. Starting lineups brought to you by the all new 2012 Honda CRV. Yep, it does that. Montreal, three changes from the team which beat Houston here on Saturday. Shavar Thomas comes in at centre back. Lamar Nagel returns on the left wing. And the new number nine, Marco Di Vaio, starts his first ever MLS game. Toronto FC coach Paul Mariner makes just one change from the team held by New England on the weekend. Logan Emery gets the ball at centre back in place of teenager Johnny or Henry. Eric Avila will support the strike partnership of Ryan Johnson and Danny Kuvermans. Early free kick from Torsten Frings aimed for Johnson and he was mighty close. A big left hand from Donovan Ricketts, and there was nearly a goal in the opening minute. Nagel goes for goal! Well, he wasn't far away, was he? It cleared the bar, but not by much. Chances at both ends in the early minutes. The impact pick it up again with Valentin. Now Arno, De Vaio goes for goal. Not this time. Yeah, it's definitely slippery out there. You know what Broski's trying to do, you just cut it back and maybe serve it in with his right foot. But with the rain, that was earlier. Seems to be playing a little bit of a slidey, slidey game out there for the boys. Kosic comes, didn't get to, didn't need to. Johnson had the clearing header, but they haven't got it away yet. Oh! And that's uh, Kamara. He went for the spectacular and caught an opponent square in the face. I'm pretty sure it was Camera who went for the bicycle kick. Indeed it was, and I, I think I felt that from up here. Might be Jeremy Hall, you know. Confirm that for you in a moment. I think it is Jeremy Hall. He caught that right in the face. Felipe running with meaning. Nagel decides to take a touch. Was that a handball off Hall? Well, it wasn't. It's a smile from the defender, perhaps off his noggin. He's probably thinking, what are they trying to take the other two teeth out? <laughs> Frings has clearly been uh, told to go back and sort out the back line. As Kuvermans comes forward, trying to play in Johnson, it comes back to Kuvermans. This time goes for goal! And just for a moment, he had Donovan Ricketts worried. It is going to be Frings to hit it! Oh, and he scored! right through the wall right through the hands of donovan ricketts it was too hot to handle and in the seventh minute of the second half the captain is leading by example toronto fc leads the montreal impact by a goal to nil and coach marsh will be livid not just for the goal but for the fact that the free kick was given up in the first place two dummy runs and fringe just says donovan i'm coming at you boy what you got and well it just went right through donovan's hand they see the replay again. The two dummy runs really does nothing. Fringe just says, I'm going straight down the gut. Back into the area again, Kosic. Well, he didn't kill act it cleanly. Uh, the referee says he was mishandled as he came to get it and has given the Toronto FC goalkeeper a free kick. Here they come again. Kuvans, it's Johnson. Johnson! Oh, that might be it! He's chipped it over Ricketts. It's delightful from Johnson. And Toronto FC, with 20 minutes to go, have a two-goal cushion. It's a ball picked off. Sulzman comes inside, finds Ryan Johnson, settles himself, gathers himself. He's central. He spots the goalkeeper, Donovan Ricketts. And on his favorite left foot, he puts it in the corner. It's just a terrific finish. But it starts with a bad giveaway for Patrice Bernier, who's trying to take the initiative to push the game. It's a bad giveaway on the left side on his part. It's all pretty frenetic out there for the moment. Here's Johnson. And he sent Ashton Morgan away. He's got two to aim for in the area. And that's the third. It's the third for Toronto FC. Morgan and Kugelmans combine again. It's 3-0 Toronto FC. And surely now, that is game over. Well, Kuvermans is very, very happy. Montreal might have been let off just moments before that. Gary Dunfield 
got a shot off. That could have been called for a handball. We've seen that before. Warner got off with that one. And then they're all sixes and sevens after that. Just couldn't find themselves defensively. The structure's out of place. It's a terrific run by Aston Morgan. But who does he find? Well, the man with the hottest feet in Major League Soccer, Danny Kuberman. Think about the short corner take it with Daviano. Venier. Low and hard across the area. Kosic down smartly. Makes the save. Frings will take the free kick somewhat reluctantly. Indeed, he won't take it because Mr. Gamble has blown his final whistle. And after five losses and a tie on the road, at the seventh attempt, Toronto FC finally have a road win to show for their efforts in 2012. 